Weeks since the beginning of the Writers Guild of America strike, which floored a huge portion of the movie business, the Screen Actors Guild has now moved to join the picket line in a strike of their own, fighting for fair and more equitable treatment from the Hollywood studios in an industry changed by streaming. For the first time in 60 years, both the writers and actors of America are striking at the same time. The WGA strikes already led to production and release delays, but with actors now also standing on the picket lines, basically every project that's in production is said to be delayed until the studios and guilds come to an agreement the latter deems to be fair and equitable. I'm Ewan, this is What Culture, and here are 10 upcoming movies about to be delayed. Number 10. Mortal Kombat 2 Filming for the upcoming sequel to 2021's Mortal Kombat began in June in Australia, with the bulk of the cast from the reboot returning, as well as newcomer Carl Urban as Johnny Cage. However, with the SAG strike now ongoing, MK2 won't be releasing as soon as expected. Fans of the franchise will at least have the upcoming Mortal Kombat 1 video game to keep them going, but they'll be waiting longer to see the next installment in the movie series. Number 9. Beetlejuice 2 As far as I can Halloween movies go, there aren't many that rank higher than Beetlejuice. Michael Keaton's titular character is immortally popular, and in February 2022, after years of uncertainty surrounding a potential sequel, Beetlejuice 2 was finally announced. With Keaton returning, as well as fellow original stars Winona Ryder and Catherine O'Hara, the cast was added to even further by one of the breakout stars of 2022, Jenna Ortega. There was one surefire way to make Halloween even spookier, it would be to add Wednesday Addams herself. Filming on Beetlejuice 2 had been taking place in both England and Vermont, USA, even in the midst of the writer's strike, with set photos leaking of Winona Ryder and her character's daughter, played by Ortega. The movie is currently slated for release on September 6, 2024, for, but even with over a year to go until it is supposed to hit cinemas, there can be no guarantee that this date will remain. Number 8. The Amateur Actor Rami Malek's next project after Christopher Nolan's Oppenheimer is The Amateur, in which he plays a CIA cryptographer who is forced to take the case of his wife's murder into his own hands. Filming of The Amateur reportedly began in the UK at the beginning of June alongside the writer's strike, with scenes still to come in France and Turkey. However, plans to continue through to September have been marred by the actor's strike, with production being forced to a complete and immediate stop. The movie, set to be helmed by Black Mirror and Slow Horses director James Horse is currently set to release in November 2024, though this is likely to change depending on how long the strikes go on for. Number 7. Venom 3 Sony's Spider-Man universe has not had much to shout about since its inception in 2018. Venom wasn't received badly by any means, and neither was the sequel, but Morbius was one of the biggest cinematic flops in recent memory. The Craven the Hunter trailer didn't quite capture the imagination of everyone either, with some key changes to the character from the comics, and the there have reportedly been production issues with El Muerto. In short, Sony needs Venom 3 to work. Or maybe they don't. They've got a feverish addiction to these weird, weird movies and are not entirely convinced they aren't ready to lose all of their money in the process. Production on Venom 3 reportedly kicked off in Spain in June, with Hardy not only an on-screen presence, but also receiving a writing credit. Both Juno Temple and Shuatel Edgier 4 are exciting additions to the series, but it'll be a longer wait than expected for it to release, with the strikes having now fully halted production. Number 6. Wicked With Wicked, Universal Pictures has the opportunity to tell one of the most popular stories told on the stage. Part 1 is set to drop in November 2024, with the second part landing almost exactly one year later in 2025. Though filming began back in December of 2022, as confirmed by director John M. Chu on social media, outdoor filming is still ongoing and will be completely shut down in accordance with the strike. This is a movie that is used to delays and pushbacks after having been first announced back in 2012, over a decade ago. Even before the coronavirus pandemic, Wicked was pushed to the side allowing cats to take its previous release date, which in retrospect doesn't seem like the greatest decision before seeing delays and disruption brought about by COVID-19. Now, just as the movie is reaching the final stretch before being released, Wicked is facing yet more delays. Number 5. Jura number 2 
Clint Eastwood is a legend of the screen, so it's fair to say that any project coming from him is always going to be highly anticipated. His next film, widely expected to be his last, is no different. Set to star the likes of Nicholas Holt, Tony Collette, Kiefer Sutherland, and Leslie Bibb, Jura No. 2 reportedly began production as recently as late June, with filming taking place in the United States at the point of the SAG after strike moving forward. Eastwood's most recent project, Cry Matcher, wasn't as universally well received as some of his other works. After such a stellar career, if this is to be Eastwood's swan song, then hopefully Juro No. 2 can be another success story for the 93-year-old to go out on. Number 4. Paddington in Peru The first Paddington movie in 2014 was a heartwarming romp, but the sequel, released in 2017, officially became the highest-rated movie on Rotten Tomatoes, and made Nicolas Cage cry in the unbearable weight of massive talent. Needless to say, fans have been waiting for news of a threequel for the last six years, and though details are scarce, the bear will be returning for Paddington in Peru, albeit with some interesting recasts. Set to begin production in July, Paddington will now be going on an enforced hiatus as the strike continues. Number 3. Gladiator 2 There have currently been 35 years since the initial release of Beetlejuice, and while people are excited to see the sequel, this is arguably not the most anticipated legacy sequel in production. That crown would have to go to Gladiator 2. Yep, 23 years after Russell Crowe took to the screen as Maximus Decimus Meridius, work is finally happening on the sequel with Ridley Scott in the director's chair once again. The returning Jimon Honsu and Clay Nielsen will be joined by newcomers Pedro Pascal, Paul Mescal, Denzel Washington, and more. By the time the current release date of November 2024 comes around, almost a quarter of a century will have passed since the original. However, with the news of the SAG after a strike, the chances of the movie actually releasing per the schedule have decreased dramatically. Gladiator 2, set to follow the life of Paul Mescal as Maximus' his son, was filming in Morocco at the time of the strike hitting. There have been reports that more photography will take place using body doubles and for sequences that don't require the core cast, but even with those countermeasures in place, it's likely that Gladiator 2's delayed production will result in a delayed premiere. Number 2. Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 2 with Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning being the first two-parter in the decades-long franchise and coming off the success of the first part, understandably production was set to begin as soon as physically possible. Writer and director Christopher McQuarrie has spoken previously about how tight the schedule will be in terms of turning around part two in time for its June 2024 release. And though all but a few sequences have been filmed already, the SAG after a strike will arguably affect this movie more than any other. With some films having either more time until their set release dates or no attached release dates at all, there is at least potential wiggle room for production. With Dead Reckoning Part 2 having less than a year to go, however, this is a luxury that Tom Cruise and company simply don't have. Releasing on time itself seems like a Mission Impossible at this point. And number 1. Deadpool 3 Marvel Studios famously has plans in place for at least the next four or five years, God have mercy on our soul, potentially even longer, and consistently has multiple projects in development at a time. The four big projects being undertaken right now have been affected differently by both the writers and actors' strikes. Captain America Brave New World managed to wrap production before being truly affected, though reshoots will be impossible, while both Blade and Thunderbolt shut down during the writers' strike all the Together. Deadpool 3, however, managed to continue even in the face of Ryan Reynolds not being allowed to improvise on set in accordance with the WGA strike rules. However, while the movie managed to continue through the writer's strike, the same cannot be said about the actor's strike. Though it was recently moved up in Disney's release schedule from November to May 2024, with production heading into an immediate shutdown, it will now likely be pushed back again. And there you have it, those were just 10 of the many movies that are likely to be delayed by the ongoing WGA and SAG after strikes. It might be disappointing to have to wait longer for these films, but until Hollywood sits down, listens to what the unions are demanding, and provides fair and equitable treatment to writers and actors, this is gonna be how the cookie crumbles. How long do you think the strikes will go on for? Post your thoughts down in the comments below, drop the video a like if you enjoyed it, and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Either way, I've been you in solidarity with everyone on strike now and forever, and I'll hopefully catch you next time. Bye!